This bonus episode is brought to you by Nurtec ODT Remedjapant, 75 milligrams, orally disintegrating tablets. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. It's a simple truth. No matter who you are, mental health challenges can affect you. And how you manage them can make all the difference. That's why everyone should have access to mental health support that meets them where they are and helps them get through. BetterHelp provides online therapy on your schedule. It's flexible, simple to use, and more affordable than in-person therapy. Connect with a licensed therapist selected just for you. Learn more at BetterHelp.com. That's BetterHelp.com. At Ford, we pride ourselves on building strong, capable vehicles. But we're only as strong as the people who drive them. People like you. Who don't just see an F-150, but see what they can build with it. Because built Ford proud, it's a pact between us, our drivers, and what we can do together. Built Ford proud. Some models, trims, and features may not be available or may be subject to change. Hey, hey, Holiday you here. You know me. I'm all put down that protein shake and bring on the pumpkin spice lattes with extra whip. Regular you might skip the blueberry pie and worry about staining your teeth. But with Colgate Optic White Pro Series Toothpaste, twice daily brushing removes 15 years of stains in two weeks. So grab another glass of red and raise it up because regular you can live life to the brightest all year long. Colgate Optic White Pro Series Toothpaste. Find it at all major retailers. Hello, from Wonder Media Network, I'm Jenny Kaplan, and this is Womanica. This month, we're talking about comedians, women throughout history who've made us laugh. They transgressed societal norms through comedy and often spoke out about injustice using their sharp wit. Today, we're talking about a woman who used humor and satire to appeal to the masses in the fight for women's rights. Let's talk about Marietta Holly. Marietta Holly was born on July 16, 1836, in Jefferson County, New York. Her parents, John and Mary, raised her and her six older siblings on a small farm. As a child, Marietta was the butt of many jokes. Her siblings would pick on her for her small stature and noticeable lisp. As a result, she was a very timid kid. Marietta enjoyed the simplicity of farm life. She and her siblings would regularly help their mom with the garden, canning food, cooking, and sewing. Amidst these chores, Marietta had plenty of free time, most of which she spent writing. Any spare piece of paper was a potential canvas for what she called her scribblings. She filled her father's old cash books or even extra wallpaper with her rhymes, verses, and drawings. Although Marietta only went to school until she was 14, she continued her education informally. At the family dinner table, she participated in conversations about religion and the latest social and political reform movement. And while she couldn't afford to attend lectures, Marietta would read their summaries in the local paper on topics including abolition, spiritualism, temperance, and suffrage. By the time she was 21 years old, Marietta's scribblings were no longer relegated to random scraps of paper. They were published poems in the Jefferson County Journal. She published under the pen name Jemima. Marietta intentionally kept her submissions a secret until she got her family's unbiased opinion of her work. When her father died in 1861, Marietta helped care for her family and the farm by publishing poems and teaching music lessons. At the suggestion of a cousin, Marietta switched from writing poetry to stories. She started with sketches using the dialect of her rural hometown. Her first sketch, Fourth of July in Jonesville, was published in the July 1869 issue of Peterson's Magazine. The magazine loved the piece so much that they published everything Marietta sent them from that point on. Again, Marietta used a pen name. The sketch was published under the name Josiah Allen's Wife. Not only was this Marietta's new pseudonym, it was also a description of her recurring main character, Samantha Allen. In 1873, Marietta published her first book, My Opinions and Betsy Bobbitts. The book is written in the first person and narrated by Samantha, who essentially serves as a proxy for Marietta. 
The success of My Opinions allowed Marietta to support herself and her family based solely on her writing. And it set off a series of more than 20 books following Samantha and her experience as a 19th century woman. Samantha's character dispels traditional ideas about womanhood by portraying both stereotypically female and stereotypically male characteristics. She's attentive to domestic duties and is also strong and self-reliant. Humor was Marietta's Trojan horse for advocacy for the feminist movement. Her comedic approach to feminist beliefs allowed her to bypass the critique that feminist language was usually too emotional or heady. Her work resonated with people, especially her neighbors in the countryside, because she used local vernacular and rural humor to convey her beliefs. She used secondary characters to represent the irrationality in the arguments against women's rights and temperance. Marietta believed that if women held political power, they could gain personal power too. They could take ownership of their lives by having a say in political decisions. These were the same beliefs as prominent reform leaders, but Marietta's delivery landed better. Her strategy was so effective that leaders in the feminist and temperance movement sought her help. But because she was a bit of a social recluse, Marietta didn't meet many of these leaders until much later. When she was 45 years old, she finally ventured from home. She began by taking trips to colleges along the Hudson River, then to New York City, and then further to D.C., Virginia, and even Chicago. Her travels widened her network to politicians and prominent reform movement leaders. But the farm in Jefferson County, which now included a 15-room Victorian house called Bonnie View, was always home. Throughout her career, Marietta suffered from recurring illness and intense pain in her writing hand. After a 40-year literary career, Marietta published her last book in 1914. It satirized the early 20th century debate around gender equality. On March 1, 1926, Marietta Hawley passed away. She spent her life and career contributing to the enduring fight for women's rights. All month, we're talking about comedians. For more information, find us on Facebook and Instagram at Womanica Podcast. Special thanks to Liz Kaplan, my favorite sister and co-creator. Talk to you tomorrow. If you're prescribed Nurtec ODT, Remedjapan 75 milligrams for migraine attacks, does the fear of running out of medication stop you from treating every migraine attack? If so, ask about two eight-packs per month. That's 16 tablets, and most insurance plans cover it. Nurtec ODT is approved for the acute treatment of migraine attacks and preventive treatment of episodic migraine in adults. Don't take if allergic to Nurtec ODT or any of its ingredients. Allergic reactions can occur even days after using and include trouble breathing, rash, and swelling of the face, mouth, tongue, or throat. Most common side effects were nausea and indigestion stomach pain. A maximum dose of 75 milligrams can be taken daily to treat migraine attacks or every other day to prevent them. The safety of using more than 18 doses of Nurtec ODT in a 30-day period has not been established. For full prescribing information, call one 833 nurtec or visit nurtec.com. Double the packs to treat more migraine attacks. Ask your doctor if two eight-packs of Nurtec ODT is right for you. Residents at Brightview Senior Living Communities enjoy enhanced possibilities, independence, and choice. Brightview Dulles Corner in Herndon offers vibrant senior independent living, assisted living, and memory care services through an array of daily programs and cultural events, chef-prepared meals, safety and security, transportation, resort-style amenities, and high-quality care. Everything you need is here. Discover more at brightviewdulluscorner.com. Equal housing opportunity. AC Hotels by Marriott is a European-inspired hotel brand where every detail has been refined, crafted, and considered to ensure a seamless stay. Wake up to the European-inspired breakfast with hand-shaved prosciutto, freshly baked croissants, and made-to-order hot items. Unwind in the AC lounge with their custom gin tonic served in a scientifically engineered glass. Get a restful night's sleep with the relaxing lavender turndown ritual. Visit ac-hotels.com and learn more about the perfectly precise hotel. AC Hotels is part of the Marriott Bonvoy portfolio of hotels. Have you had it with toxic pet odor products that don't really work? Try the revolutionary new odor eliminator, Poof. Poof eliminates odors instantly. No harsh chemicals, no tacky perfumes. 
Hoof dismantles odors on a molecular level, turning any organic odor into clean, fresh air instantly. And not just pee or poop stink. Use it on stinky pet toys, their beds, even on stinky skin folds, ears, and around eyes. Because it doesn't contain harsh chemicals. Get the amazing new pet odor eliminator everybody's talking about. Go to poof.com today. That's P-O-O-P-H dot If it's not poof, it stinks.